<laughs> Alrighty. Today we got the world. My bad. Today we got the world's biggest Berkeley unboxing ever. I'm really excited to show you guys what I like to throw. For example, like colors and baits and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Alrighty, that's much better. I know you guys couldn't even see my face. Anyways, yeah, let's grab this box and let's get into it. It's actually three boxes and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fit one of them in frame, but we're just gonna try. This is the first one. This is the little guy. In there. This is the gigantic one. <laughs> I did go ahead and go through and open the boxes and kind of organize them in a way easier unboxing pattern because there's so much stuff that I just felt like if I would have opened it at random, we would have been here for like three hours. And I don't know if that's what y'all want. You comment below if that's what you want. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyways, let's get started with this unboxing. Before we get started, I do got to get some lighting in here. So brighten things up a bit shall we much better alrighty so I guess let's just jump right in we'll probably start out with the small box go to the medium box and then save biggest for last so starting out with the small box we've got a couple drop shot baits for example like flatworms and flat nose minnows and my favorite colors are typically just natural colors or shad colors so we've got brown back something like a green pumpkin as you can see natural shed here's some more of those flat nose minnows I just like to keep them in a bulk I can always change the color by using some sort of a spike it or a, a dipping glow but I prefer that natural matte color in that power bait max scent I think it really has an amazing profile that not a lot of baits have as well as the max scent being a huge attraction for those fish I do believe that scent works next up we got some creature hogs Different colors, something kind of natural. I can fish in clearer water and then something a little bit darker for those more dirty water situations. These as well pair perfectly on the back of a jig. Um, and not a lot of people throw a beaver trailer on a jig, so I think that this would get a lot of attention. Next up, we just got some generals. And again, I like just kind of natural plain colors. So this is baby bass right here. And then we got green pumpkin. These are six inch and five inch. Both sizes work great. Uh, I recommend the five inch for wacky rigging and then the six inch you can Texas rig this guy. Next up is the Berkeley Fatty Bottom Hopper. These are not max scent. These are just your plain power bait, Berkeley power bait scent. I think these are also effective in any situation. I mean, I mean these things stink, bro. I mean, if you've ever opened a package of these, they smell. We got it in June Bug and Plum. And then lastly, we got some Generals. And we got it in the Goat and Grimace. Two really nice colors. This is more natural. And then this is going to be a little bit more dirty color. Almost looks like a June Bug red. And then this one's kind of got that green pumpkin uh, blue fleck kind of thing going on. Alrighty, that's it for the small box. We're going to move to this guy right here. Alrighty, box number two. In this one, we've got even more Max Scent. But these are going to be the uh, Max Scent Chigger Cross which honestly these pair perfectly on the back of a trailer of a jig or a chatterbait if you rig it vertically um, or just plain Texas rig. I mean, these guys work. And some of my favorite colors are typically going to be just like a dirty water color. For example, like black and red flake. I mean, this is money, dude. You pair this up on the, uh, I think it's called like Texas Craw is the color of jig in, um, in the Berkeley lineup. And I mean, this thing would be perfect. Put it on a flipping jig, put it on a heavy cover jig, put it on a swimming jig. You may want to pick up a few packs. I've got more than a few packs and I, and I get them in different sizes as well. So you see, this is the four inch watermelon. And then I'll just go ahead and as well pick up the three inch and watermelon. And so you may be wondering, hey, why don't you just get the four inch and cut them down? Well, the reason being is A, you get more in the three inch and B, I'll use the four inch on a Texas rig or a bigger profile jig, like a heavy cover, something that I'm like flipping and pitching, as opposed to the three inch watermelon, I can use him on just the back of a uh, jig 
like a small finesse jig. And I mean, again, these work phenomenally. I really like this color right here. It's Alabama Craw. Summer Craw. Summer Craw is a really, really good color. And that's in the full size profile as well. But like I said, three inch, four inch, three inch, four inch. And this is all just max scent chigger cross. And we got so many. The, uh, the claws do get pinched off. So I recommend getting a whole bunch of these guys. But yeah. I mean, there's at least like 15 packs right there. Just max scent crawls, maybe more. All right, next up, if you're really going for pressure bass, then the Lil General can be extremely effective. If you pair it on the back of a jig, a finesse jig, or you just put it on a Ned rig in general. Um, I got I got it in uh, peanut butter and jelly, as well as we got some more flatworms, and it's in that smoke purple fleck. And this is probably one of my favorite colors that Berkey makes. They don't make it in a lot of baits. I wish they did. I wish they made it in other different kind of baits, but the flatworm, smoke purple, money. Next up, we're just gonna go to plain power bait chigger cross. We got it in Labatt. It's just a really sapphire kind of blue color. And again, watermelon, watermelon seed. Here's blue craw. This is blue craw, so it's got green pumpkin with that blue flash in it. We got Okeechobee craw. I do keep the three and four inch as well. You get an extra one in the smaller size, so 10 count to nine count. I got 10 jig trailers and then nine Texas rigs, essentially. Summer crawl works perfectly, even though it's called summer crawl, almost seems to work year round for me other than winter. And then we got some in the goat. This is the goat color. I think this was made by Mike Iaconelli. Um, again, it's that green pumpkin kind of blue fleck. Again, I mean, you're gonna go through a few packs, so just, you know, pick up a bunch and I mean, you'll be good to go. So to me, this is like the brother to the chigger crawl right here. We got crazy leg chigger cross. And I believe that is the uh, green pumpkin, or pumpkin green fleck, excuse me. And again, we'll pick up the three inch size for the exact reason as well. These come with 10, these come with eight. So you're actually getting two more in the crazy leg chigger craw. Pumpkin green fleck, three inch, four inch, summer craw, three inch, four inch. Pretty much all the same colors, Okeechobee craw. black and red flake watermelon candy uh this color is a little bit difficult to get your hands on but if you can this is probably one of my favorite colored crazy lake chigger craw again you pair it up on the watermelon candy jig lineup that they have you can get some phenomenal jig pairings i mean i'd throw him on the back of a half ounce football jig just slow drag him all day long and i mean yeah that's money always double triple quadruple down on your baits because they're gonna get ripped up. They're gonna catch fish. If you wanna have some action actually in your baits, then you need to have a little bit of supple and softness in your baits as well. So they will get ripped up and that's normal. That, that's gonna be the case when you're catching them. So just expect that. Flute worms. Flute worms are probably one of the best worms to fish on the finesse presentation. You can rig them on a Texas rig. You can rig them wacky style. You can rig them Nico. You can rig them on a shaky head. A uh, nail weight, especially in the head, it's, it has a slot perfectly designed for nail weighting. And you know what? I'm actually going to take one of these out of the package and show y'all because I'm, I'm a really big fan of them. But as you can see, a lot of action in the tail there. Kind of going to quiver around and it's got that slotted head. So you can go ahead and put a nail weight in it. And then along the body, you'll see these segments and these indented segments right here, where you basically can put your O-rings and rubber bands to then put your hook through. And it comes in a lot of uh, interesting colors that I personally like. So again, that smoke purple color, that's probably my favorite color. Anything that has a little bit of purple is right up my alley. Then we got, that one was just plain green pumpkin. Watermelon red, a really good standard wacky rig, Nico rig worm. It, it really comes in some interesting colors, guys. I, I, I really can't get over it. We got greeny weenie. It's kind of got that green watermelon seed and then it's got a purple descent to it. It's got morning dawn, perfect on a drop shot. I had to pick up a whole bunch of these as well. We probably got like seven packages of them because I mean, they're probably one of the most versatile worms to exist. I mean, you're talking about the, you know, you're talking about the do all kind of baits. I mean, 
this is it right here. You could go out and catch them and do every presentation with this. And, and they come with a bunch in there, right? Like this is the 5.7 size, so almost a six inch worm, and you're getting 12. The 4.7s, you get 15 of them. So I mean, that's worth it right there. Next up for finesse worms, these are more specifically for wacky and probably shaky head rigging. We got some 4.25 Berkeley Powerbait Generals. This is in Grimace and we have it in Goat. Again, a natural color and then a dirty water color. Lastly, these are a little bit unpopular on the market or I guess relatively, relatively newer than some of the other finesse worms and finesse baits I've shown in the uh, Berkeley Powerbait lineup. The Powerbait water bug designed by Mike Iconelli. These float, so you want to fish them on a drop shot, a Ned rig. You're going to fish these and it's just going to sit vertically in that water column, or you're going to fish it on a Ned. It's going to sit straight up because it has that floating. That floating capability is really going to make it stand out from a lot of these other kind of baits. It's going to help you be a lot more snagless from the bottom. Uh, maybe it'll help you hang right above the grass line or weed edge or something like that. So we got it in two colors here. We got it in Gobi Magic. It's kind of got that purple and gold fleck. And then we got it in just your standard green pumpkin. And just, just a 3.3 3 inch size. They do have a bigger size, but I just figured I would personally be fishing them on a drop shot. So I didn't want to go too big, but yeah. That's it for the medium size box. Let's move on to the big one. So I think the easiest method would just be if I just put it at my feet and then... <laughs> take everything out and show y'all one by one already so we're gonna start out with soft plastics and then we're gonna move into probably hard baits and skirted bladed baits jigs stuff like that to begin I'm gonna keep a whole bunch of these power jerk sheds this right here is in the baby bass color which is extremely effective especially you know during spring summer it's got that nice glitter effect it's going to really reflect in the sunlight and then we got white ice this is probably what i would throw in fall and winter because the shad spawn bats are feeding up on bait fish white extremely effective but yeah i'm going to keep three and three so three packs of these and three packs of these you can pair these up on the back of a chatter bait you can pair them up on the back of a spinner bait uh, you can mid stroll them you can put them on a drop shot, you could just Texas rig them. You can weighted Texas rig them. You can do a lot of things with a fluke and especially it having that power bait scent is gonna make it that much more irresistible and uh, help you trigger a strike. So yeah, keep a bunch of these on deck and you'll be all right. Next up, we're gonna have some creature baits. So a really old school one is gonna be the fatty crawl. I think this was designed by Bobby Lane. Yes, sir. Bobby Lane designed these. These are a really great flipping bait. Uh, they've been around for a while. And but I'll take one of these out of the package and just show y'all why I like them. Really effective. As you can see, it's got a really nice thin profile. Not too much water resistance. You'll be able to get in and out of cover real easy. And the durability on him is nice as well. Um, yeah, all around a great bait. I like him. The ridges. You get a lot of water displacement along with the uh, the appendages there on the side of the body. But yeah, this is in a black and blue flick. Probably one of my favorite colors to just flip and pitch around where I'm from. It's just dirty water. Dirty water, dirty water, dirty water. And if you've watched some of my videos, um, I think you kind of see the theme there. So yeah. The craw fatty or the fatty craw, whatever you want to call it. It's a good one. Next up, we've got the Pit Boss, which was designed by Pro Skeet Reese. This right here is probably one of the most popular flipping and pitching baits. The power bait scent got smacked on there and I think it became a great bait over the years. I mean, they have it in some really nice colors. That's black and blue, which y'all know what black and blue looks like. Uh, we got it in green pumpkin, just a nice natural color. And you know, with, the, with these two right here, with black and blue and green pumpkin, you can practically go anywhere in the U.S., maybe the world, I don't know, and catch them. Uh, green pumpkin, black and blue, and then you throw like white in there, and you're good to go. But yeah, just to make things interesting, I'll show y'all some of the, uh, I will show y'all some of my 
prized possession colors. Um, <laughs> just to make things interesting, uh, here's some of my favorite colors. This is the green pumpkin purple fleck. We've got the Skeet's Hot Craw. This one is extremely popular in the spring season. June Bug, just a classic. You know, everybody knows June Bug. Gotta love him. And then we got Green Haze. So th this right here is essentially almost like a clear color with a blast of green fleck. And honestly, probably my two favorite colors have to be Green Haze. And then there's another one that's really, really difficult to get your hands on. I think it's called Skywalker. It's essentially the same thing. It's got a, it's like a clear plastic, but it's got blue fleck just blasted through it. And if you can get your hands on those, these really represent a bluegill the best. And that's that green haze has got that green fleck or the, the blue fleck, if you can find it in the Skywalker representing a bluegill. It, it really is probably one of the best flipping and pitching baits, bedding baits, uh, Texas rig, uh, put it on the back of a jig. And I'm going to show you why it, it's so thick. I mean, the, the body on it is, it's way different than that fatty craw I showed you. It's just got so much meat to it. Let's see if I can find one that maybe looks a little bit better. Here we go. It's got four appendages that just essentially look like fins. And I mean, bass can't resist it, dude. And it's covered in that power bait sauce as well, so. Alrighty, for some more power bait soft plastics, we've got the bonefish. It's essentially just a paddle tail that has ridges across the entire body. Really displacing a lot of water, uh, a lot of action with that paddle tail. And we got it in peanut butter jelly, again, that purple peanut butter jelly. I can't resist it. I know the bass can't resist it as well. It comes in a 3.25 size. And then this one right here is the 2.5 size. And we've got it in firecracker chartreuse, which is probably one of the coolest looking colors I've ever seen. It, it, it's a clear plastic, but it's got red, white, and blue fleck blasted through it so god bless america and then uh just this uh, chartreuse tail that's probably irresistible to these fish but yeah i haven't even fished with them yet so y'all will be the first to see how it goes next up we've got the fatty bottom hopper but in the smaller size so the ones previous i showed were i believe like eight or nine inch i'll grab them they're right here they are seven inch excuse me seven inch and they're huge looking and then you've got them right here in a five inch. Uh, this color right here is gonna be watermelon candy red. We got a couple packs of those. And then this color right here is Skeet's Ghost Minnow. We're gonna pull one out for you guys cause I can't resist it. And I might as well. You're here to watch an unboxing. Am I right? All right. So it's got this like clear purple bottom. It's like purple descent. I don't know if the camera's even catching this, but it's got like a fleck, this uh, kind of like gold silver fleck. Again, it's got that really thick body. It would work perfect on a wacky or a Nico presentation. I do recommend using some sort of O-ring. So this is the straight money worm designed by Skeet Reese. And in this color, I believe it is the Skeet's green money. It comes in a six inch profile and then it comes in a five inch profile. This is Skeet's chartreuse shad. I, I personally got these so I could rig them up on a drop shot. So it's kind of got a chartreuse exterior with some purple descent and gold flake. Margarita red. I'm going to go ahead and take him out too just to show y'all. This is a dirty water color. And it's got a flange on the end of the tail there. I don't know if y'all see that. But that, that flange really helps kick back and forth. Displace a lot of water on a drop shot. All you really got to do is give him a, a few shakes. But... That margarita red is gorgeous. I mean, if you fish robo worm, you know what margarita mutilator is. And you know margarita red's gonna probably do the same thing. And with that being said, you can't talk about a power worm or a power bait worm without talking about the power worm. The original power bait worm that sent a craze through the market. Next up, we've got some Berkeley power bait power hogs. And again, just a black sapphire color and a watermelon seed color. I'm not gonna go too much in depth about these. Um, you know, everyone knows what a what a creature bait is or a hog bait is. But yeah, I picked up a couple because it looks nice and I wanted to try something new. So, so we got these Berkeley Power Bait swim shads. They come pre-rigged and pre-weighted. So if, if you're someone that doesn't really like tying up and rigging up, doesn't know how to do it in line, or doesn't want to because you A, don't have the time, B, want to be efficient, or C, don't really care to learn, these swim shads are perfect. It's got that power bait scent all over them. They come in HD colors, and then they come in just these plain kind of 
painted colors as well. So this is going to be like a sexy shad imitation. I do believe there is a two inch size as well, but we have the three inch and the four inch. We got some Berkeley gulps. These are just some Berkeley gulp minnows. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how they pair up against, you know, like real minnows. So maybe on the channel, we'll probably do like a real live minnow versus Berkeley gulp minnow test or something and see how it goes. But again, got to keep a couple on deck. They come in at 12 count. So two, we got 24 minnows. Well, we made it past the soft plastic containers, but we still have clamshells, terminal, hard baits, jigs, and spinner baits and chatter baits. Well, I guess slobber knockers. But yeah, if you're still watching this video right now, just click that thumbs up button. I appreciate y'all being here with me on this journey. We're going to get through all this, I promise. Uh, just bear with me. All right, so clamshells. We've got some Berkeley Champ minnows. This is the HD Black Nose Shiner color. And when I saw these at the store and bought them, I about thought they were real minnows at first. So they perform great on the drop shot. I really like them. I had to get myself another pack. On the same theme of realism, we've got a whole bunch of Berkeley Gillies and we've got them in all different sizes. So we've got the 130 size in pumpkin seed, the 110 comes with three, the 130 comes with two, and then you have the 90. And this comes with four. I recommend rigging these on a power shot or a Texas rig kind of representation. Amazing. You could really pair them on a chatterbait, throw them on a bunch of different kind of presentations. I really like the versatility in this soft plastic as well as the colors and the appearance. So this is watermelon candy. This is blue shiner gold, HD bluegill. And then we just got some black and blue. So black and blue fleck and the uh, watermelon. These two are probably gonna be my bread and butter. And I'll be able to, again, be as versatile as possible, go wherever I need to and still catch fish. Still on the concept of realism, we've got some of the Agent E's. Um, essentially, this is going to be like a jigging swim bait. So we got it in that HD bluegill color. The chartreuse shad, peanut butter jelly, you know me, right up my alley. Black and blue fleck. They do have larger sizes and uh, heavier weight sizes. So this is the uh, one ounce and it's a 3.75 inch. And then this is still a three inch, but a half ounce. And you're still getting two of them. And I mean, it's got that weed guard. It's gonna help it run through cover. Moving on from the Agent E's, we've got the Shape 108. So apparently this bait right here got its name because it took 108 experiments or 108 samples, 108 test designs. I'm not really sure what the word or lingo is or whatever they did, but I guess it got its name because it took them 108 tries. So the shape 108, it has a very unique action. The, the craw appendages on this bait, they flap in unison. So rather than, you know, flapping on either side, like one, 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 they, they flap together kind of thing. I don't know how to explain that with my fingers, but yeah, uh, we got it in June bug in the uh, 3.5 size. And then we had to pick it up in its big brother size. So we got the four inch. This is the full size right here. And I mean, we got it, you know, for Texas rigging, really big jigs, situations where you're just looking for a really large profile, but we got it in peanut butter jelly. And then that black and blue fleck, we got some 2.8 sized paddle tails. These are the Berkeley Power Bait Power Swimmers. And I believe that this color right here is the Tennessee Shed and IU. And these are the 2.8 sizes. So we can rig these uh, standalone on the jig head or we can rig them as a trailer on some finesse baits. And then we got the 3.8 size right here. This is an electric shad. And this is gonna be perfectly rigged on a trailer for a spinner bait or chatter bait or even a swim jig. Honestly, I really like the color in these uh, power swimmers as well as the durability in them i find that these power swimmers last so yeah we picked up a few as trailers as well as some of the boss scrubs for trailers and we got it in a uh, watermelon seed black and blue flick and when you're talking about berkeley power bait trailers you can't not talk about the power stinger um the berkeley power stinger only recently came out but i think it's probably caught fire to being one of the most popular chatterbait trailers there is right now and I personally can see why after picking up a few packages of these, the colors are just out of this world. This right here is Ghost Red Craw. I don't know who thought of this color, who made this, 
but it looks great and I don't know I'm a huge fan and then we got swamp gas golly swamp gas right here swamp gas is gas bro you're just straight throwing heat like if they're not if they're not biting this on a bladed jig put your bladed jig up because this is where the money's at comes in a five count 4.25 inch don't be afraid to pick some up for yourself and similarly to the uh, boss scrub we got the speed boss in uh, skeet screen money I only picked up one pack of these because I was kind of curious to see how they went. I've never really fished with them. So you guys will be experiencing that in real time with me on the channel soon enough. Alrighty, lastly for clamshells, we've got some Berkeley beaten paddle frogs. I'm personally a big fan of, you know, like a Stanley Ribbit, a top toad, stuff like that. So to me, when I saw these guys, I just had to pick some up. We got it in green pumpkin, black, and snow leopard. Again, I can't reiterate this enough. You get yourself a natural colored presentation. You get yourself a dark, dirty water colored presentation. And you get yourself a bright white stained water colored presentation. You can essentially fish these three colors in top water year round, catch fish anywhere and have no problems. I mean, seriously, that, that green pumpkin, black and white, easy. You simplify things, you, you make it easy on yourself to catch fish already let's get started with some hard baits well i guess technically these are still soft baits but we got the berkeley swamp lords and we got it in a poppin style and then your walking style swamp lords so we got the swamp lord in bone and potomac gill probably my two favorite looking colors that i saw so of course i had to add them to the cart just because most most fishing lures catch fishermen before they catch fish and as well you can you can feel the soft and suppleness of this this frog right here anything that inhales this frog is going to get a hook in it. it it's so soft that that body just wants to collapse immediately upon any sort of impact but yeah that's the uh walking swamp lord and then we got the poppin swamp lord it's got that nice green natural body it's got the red kind of bait fish eyes i'm excited to try it out i, I want to see how the uh I want to see how the Swamp Lord compares to just like a standard ordinary, like a $2 frog from Walmart or something. So I don't know. I'm excited to try these out, guys. Next up, we just got a classic stunner. This is going to be a 112 plus one in the Northern Lights color. It's going to pause on a dime. It's got that slow sinking action, which not a lot of jerk baits have. Typically, you're going to have to wrap some wire or uh, weight your jerk bait. These come pre weighted to uh, slow sink, as well as they come with the uh, Fusion 19 treble hooks so i mean this thing's wicked sharp really nice jerk bait i'm a big fan of the stunna 112 so i'm excited to try out the 112 plus one next up for hard baits we got a couple wake bowls wake baits let's talk real quick about wake baits no one ever really fishes a wake bait anymore and so i had to pick up these wake bowls obviously one's going to be more of like your shad uh bone dirty stain kind of color and then you got your chrome so this is going to work a little bit better sunlight clear water next up we got the square bowl which is similar to the wake bowl but square bowl is going to dive a little bit deeper instead of just uh waking on the surface you can probably um get this guy to around six seven foot on some really light line and yeah i mean the action on these crankbaits are pretty top tier this is the uh, chameleon pearl color this is a vintage craw color, so a little bit, a little bit harder to get. This right here is big money. And then we got the 7.5 size. This guy's gonna dive a little bit deeper. He's gonna have a little bit bigger of a profile. And we got him in just the uh, black chartreuse. Now, here is two finesse crankbaits, kind of on two different ends of the spectrum. This is gonna be more of your like finesse, cold water, uh, smaller downsize crankbait, but it's gonna dive very, very deep. So the money badger right here can probably get down to like, I mean, 12 foot, maybe more depending on what size you get. This right here is the 6.25 money badger right here. And we've got it in purple glimmer. Got that finesse kind of crank style to it. We got this in the killer craw color. So we've got that shad pattern and a craw pattern. And then we've got the Berkeley Fritz side five. This is going to be in the HD blue craw color winter to spring transition a flat side crankbait can be deadly you can't talk about berkeley hard baits without talking about the war pig um, probably one of the nicest 
rattle traps ever made or lipless crankbaits, whatever you want to call it. But this little war pig is in half ounce. We got it in black silver, black gold. And then we got a three quarter ounce size and this is going to be in blue back. So we kind of got a nice natural big shad presentation. I was kind of hoping I could get something that represented like a gizzard or just, you know, like a big profile shad for when they're feeding on big bait fish, as well as to help me get more depth and um, just, a, just a bigger profile in general. As you can see, the three quarter inch is a lot bigger than that half ounce, and it, it's gonna get you deeper as well, of course. But lastly, for the crankbaits, we got us some dredgers. So this right here is Big Money, again, Chameleon Pearl, y'all seen those, and then this is their gilly color. This color right here, Gilly, is probably one of the nicest colors I've seen in a bluegill pattern. And at first I thought it looked a little bit gimmicky, but it, it really works. And I mean, these guys get really deep. It says you can get them down to 26 feet. Lastly, for hard baits, you gotta have a Chapo 90, especially in that Maverick color. I mean, this thing just straight up gets bit. I personally really like fishing the Chapo because it's a lot more affordable in terms of having a topwater prop bait as well as still not really lacking in quality. It's got the Fusion 19 hooks on it so it's going to be wicked sharp. It's got really nice color patterns. Again, I'm a huge fan of that Maverick color. Next we got skirted baits. So this is going to be like jigs, slobber knockers, and spinner baits aka the power blade. So Berkeley recently came out with these power blade spinner baits um, designed by Edwin Evers and I'm pretty sure some other pros had some play into it but I know that Edwin Evers was the main one to design these and boy let me tell you I am a huge fan of these power blade spinner baits um, mainly being that the colors are phenomenal and then I mean beyond that you, you have the uh, you have the power bait scent inside of that skirt so the the colors look phenomenal in the skirt, yes, but the power bait scent being implemented inside of that skirt is really gonna set it apart from a lot of other spinner baits. It's just having that much of an edge on the competition, you know? I mean, this is it right here. So we got a three quarter ounce tandem spinner bait in that coleslaw color. That looks gorgeous. So this is gill spawn right here. It's got that Fusion 19 black nickel hook, and this is gonna be a half ounce tandem spinner bait. Then we got a half ounce single Colorado blade spinner bait. This color right here is called Old School. It's got that chartreuse with that blue mixed in. And I mean, dude, money. Yeah, we got a half ounce tandem as well, but this is gonna be more of a shad representation instead of that gill spawn. This color right here is just called white, plain white. Then we got a double willow power blade right here in purple rain. Lastly, we got another double willow, but this is gonna be in the compact style. And it's in the pretty ones color. So pretty one with the chartreuse blades. And then we had to pick up some of these smaller style spinner baits, you know, for pond hopping, pond fishing, smaller fishing, rivers, creek systems, stuff like that. Just looking for fun. But again, we got that gill spawn color and we got it in a single Colorado. And we got shad spawn. So gill spawn, shad spawn, and then we got gold shiner. Quarter ounce, but they're really nice profiles. And the hook is all the way back meeting the blades. And, you, and you'll notice that on all of these. So the hook being placed where the blades are. And even with this three quarter ounce and this massive large willow blade, you still got the hook placed basically where the blade is. That's gonna increase your hookup ratio and your land ratio because instead of them just hitting that blade and not catching a hook after, they're gonna go to hit that blade and they're gonna smack right into that long shank hook. So yeah, really quality stuff. I mean, that hook right there is like a gaff, dude. If, if you miss them on that, then you probably shouldn't be throwing a spinner bait. Not last and definitely not least, we got some slobber knockers. And when I say some, I mean, I'm pretty sure we have every single color. I'll go ahead and go through them all for you guys. But if I left the color out or if I don't have it, leave it in the comment section and I'll make sure to pick it up just because I think it would be funny at this point to have every single color. But yeah, white and chartreuse 3 8 ounce, that gold blade, we got it in the half ounce hot craw essentially this is like a watermelon red but really sweet color really nice color really nice natural simple color herring half ounce comes with a silver blade next up gold blade on that golden shiner slobber knocker 3 8 ounce it's a half ounce fire craw slobber knocker half ounce bruise it's very similar to like an okeechobee craw color we got bama brim right here bream bream however you pronounce it brim bama brim 
Then we got it in that coleslaw color I mentioned before. We got it in the 3 8 ounce as well. So we got it in black light special, half ounce. And then we got green pumpkin shad. Probably one of the most effective known to man chatterbait colors. Just a nice green pumpkin and a shad. So I'm a big fan of these Berkeley slobber knockers. It's got a nice compact profile. The action is just slightly different. It's got a little bit more hunting action to it. I feel like it's a little bit less prone to snag and I'm not sure why exactly. It, it could be the design of that head has that more arky style kind of head. But yeah, really nice compact looking chatterbait. Similar to the power blade, it has the power bait scented skirt which is just gonna make you have that much of an advantage against the competition or that much advantage um, when you're just fishing pressured bass. Lastly, for skirted baits, we just got a whole bunch of jigs. And I won't bore you to death with every single color, but I will get the main ones out of the way and I would like to show you guys every style that Berkeley has to offer. So just to make things simple, let me go ahead and grab one of every bait. And again, I'm pretty sure we have every style of Berkeley jig here, but if I left one off, please feel free to correct me in the comment section. And again, I'll probably end up picking one up. Um, but yeah, we got a heavy cover jig. This is gonna be in the Okeechobee craw color. It's got that direct line tie kind of head. Again, as we talked about with the power blade and the slobber knocker, these jigs have the power bait scent built into the skirt. So it's just gonna be that much better. Next up, flipping jig, black and blue chartreuse. Again, it's got that flipping style head to be able to make nice flips and pitches. You got swim jigs, half ounce, quarter ounce, and three eighth ounce swim jigs, I believe. But this is just a plain white color swim jig. And I mean, they have a whole bunch of other colors as well and sizes. So again, quarter ounce, half ounce, you got your three eighth ounce, which leads me to my next thing I was gonna talk about, which is the finesse swim jig. So the finesse swim jig, this is another style of jig that Berkeley came out with. Essentially, this is like the swim jig, but built on more of a finesse thin wire hook. So finesse swim jig, you're gonna wanna use him with fluorocarbon. When you're fishing the big swim jig, this guy you wanna fish on braid. Then you have the finesse jig, not a finesse swim jig, just your plain finesse jig. This right here can be paired perfectly with like a Ned rig kind of trailer. Here we got a skipping jig. This is gonna be in the blue oyster color. And lastly, we have the football jig. The colors are pretty sweet. This is kind of got this nice kind of coffee crawl looking color. This is called black, brown, amber. It's, it's made so well. The way that the football head shape is designed is gonna help you be so snag free against rock and wood cover, as well as the design of this head is gonna enable you to have a lot more contact with the bottom. So when you're dragging across rock and structure, stuff that you wanna feel and know what you're touching, this football head right here is the way to go. And I mean, uh, all these jigs were designed by Gary Klein, so everyone knows that he's just flat out good jig fisherman, but he really knows what he's doing. Uh, he really made a bunch of these nice, and, and they weren't all designed by Gary Klein. I believe that there was some other pros that had input in them as well. Um, for example, Bobby Lane did play a part in the swim jig, as you can see here, and uh, he also did play a part in the finesse swim jig and stuff like that. I mean, these, these guys are pros that are tailoring this stuff for, for themselves mainly while they're tournament fishing, while they're pro fishing, or whatever they're doing, they're thinking about how they can make something better that's already been invented a thousand times, right? Everyone's invented the wheel. How can we make the wheel better? And that's what these guys are doing right here. And you can, you can see it. The last topic we have to discuss is the terminal. And like I've said throughout this video, Berkeley 19 fusion hooks are probably some of the best quality hooks you can get on the market. They're very affordable. They're easily found. You can find them in most supermarkets, Walmart, Sports Academy, Bass Pro, Cabela's, and you can get them online as well. For example, I mean, I, I really do religiously live by them. I had a pack of them sitting on my desk right here. The quality on them, is visible as well as they come in these sealed containers foam backing reusable containers and then they label them as well letting you know how many you have what it comes with so it lets you know these are size 4 treble hooks 1x and I mean yeah you can use these to replace most of your baits and you should notice a catch ratio go up along with the fusion 19 treble hook replacements pretty much the whole fusion 19 lineup of terminal is phenomenal so we got Right here we got some swim bait jig heads, quarter ounce, pair perfectly with any sort of swim bait. You could also throw them on an umbrella rig if you had a couple packs. 
We got some weighted swim bait hooks. We got some unweighted screw lock swim baits. And then we got some underspins. So we got them in quarter ounce. We got like a nice uh, pearl white and then a glitter shad. And then we had to pick up the glitter shad in the half ounce for a little bit deeper water presentations, as well as just for any bigger swim baits that we might have. Again, some feather treble hooks. You can use these as replacements. These are size four as well. Standard I typically go with are size four, size twos, and size sixes. A great replacement for a top water hook uh, on the back end of a spook. So yeah, man, these Fusion 19s can really cover you all the way from like heavy flipping, all the way to doing some like finesse fishing, some uh, weedless wacky hooks. It's got like a nice fluorocarbon cover. It helps a little bit. Um, obviously it's not 100% uh, snag proof, but you know, I think it does make a difference. And then, you know, you got your super lines. Yeah, these Fusion 19s have a really nice slick set coating, as well as that matte kind of nickel finish. It really doesn't have too much shine to it. It probably doesn't uh, shy any fish away. And again, man, they're, they're really, really sharp, chemically sharpened hooks. And I mean, they got you covered, you know, in, in every situation that you want, all the way from, you know, just soft plastic rigging to uh, football heads. I typically like fishing these on swim baits. They even have these half head jig heads, which are Ned rigs essentially, but in all sorts of different colors. That's it for the world's biggest Berkeley unboxing. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you're still here, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see me do next. I really appreciate everybody watching through this whole video. I know it was kind of a long and lengthy one, but I hope you saw some stuff that you'd honestly find interesting yourself, or if there's any colors that you'd like to see more in depth, just leave me a comment below and I'll make sure I fish with them and show you all some close-ups and action shots as well. Thank you again everybody and make sure that you guys go out and buy yourself some Berkeley product.